So a big part of customizing the look of your blog is going to be able to make graphic buttons rather than just the text ones that we've seen so far. For example, we have here this tech, this nav blog data layer, and inside it has two identifiers, post older link and the post newer link identifier. And even though we can set a custom text to appear, um, as we've done here with the new stuff, and in the design manager we can add uh, background colors and borders and uh, hover states and click states and all sorts of things for these buttons, the amount of customization that we have for them is limited. And so there are certainly times when you're going to want to do really fancy things um, or very graphical things and get away from the pure text representation. Well, that is possible. So instead of using this particular layer, I'm going to turn on two graphical buttons I've got here. Now these are layer group buttons and that's not required. I just happen to be using uh, layer group buttons. I think if, uh, that we've got other tutorials on layer group buttons and you can uh, see how to do those. But essentially what's important is the name of these buttons. These buttons are named post older button and post newer button. These are reserved names and SiteGrinder when it sees the name post older button or post newer button is going to make it do the right thing on the blog. You'll notice that these names are the same as the uh, uh, links were in the blog data. So it was post older dash link and post newer dash link and now it's post older dash button, post newer dash button. So very simple way of associating those identifiers with the matching buttons. And the, all the button names, all the custom button names are documented in the documentation so you can look them up there. But uh, that's the system. So when the page is built it looks like this and uh, you Again, the post, older and newer, you only see in single post view, but there it is. We're on the single post view, and there's our buttons. We roll over them. They've got the little hover state, and I can use them to navigate the different posts of our fake blog. And uh, that's all there is to it. So hopefully this is enjoyable, and I think that you'll find that the ability to create graphic buttons is really going to open up the doors to the things that you can do on customizing the look of your blog.